Hello, everyone. Welcome to the break. Uh, just a reminder to sign up for the talent show. Uh, we don't need the sign up by today, but it'd be best if we could get that done as soon as possible. Uh, other than that, see you in the first. Okay, so uh, keep submitting uh, pictures to, of the extracurriculars that you do outside of New York to the yearbook email. The yearbook email is on the student club board. Also, boys, bas boys varsity basketball, I need to see you behind the chapel after break. So, those of you in JSA, our next conference, Spring State, happens to have a conflict. If you like to, you know, make your voice do that thing where it like sounds really good and has a song, you're kind of in a bit of a pickle because Spring State falls on the same day as Fine Arts Weekend. And early registration ends on the 19th because our governor doesn't understand that we have spring break at a really interesting time. So if you know for sure that you're going, there will be a late van so that like if you're in choir or whatever, you can still go to Spring State. If you know for sure that you will be going either at the normal time or late, please talk to myself, Jill, or Sensei so that we can register you and you don't have to pay a ton of extra money. Thank you. There was a piano concert the second Friday of break, um, Friday, March 17th at 7.30 p.m. at All Saints Church. This is, uh, the pianist is named Peter Tull. He's very um, famous and a very good pianist, and it would be great if the house were full. So the tickets for students are $10, and tickets for general admission are $20. Please come. All right. Please remember to donate to Rice Plus, guys. The bin is still in the office, and we're still trying to raise a lot of money. So we will be bagging the rice and beans on April 17th, so you have until then to get your donations in. It would be really great if everybody donated three to five dollars, then we can easily make our goal and we'll be able to feed a lot of hungry people. Thanks. Hey everyone, so literally next period, we will be cleaning up the lost and found. Come get your stuff, we will donate it. Also in the eighth grade, Lily, Alana, Sophie, Bethany, Ella, you will be cleaning it out. Thank you. I believe in gratitude. Gratitude means the readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness. I especially believe in gra showing gratitude to my parents, who have been so loving, supportive, and generous. My sisters and I have had some illnesses in the past. We are grateful our parents have been through it all with us. The first hospital incident was in January 2005. My younger sister, Isabella, was diagnosed with a Kawasaki disease. This disease is most common in infants and young children. This, since the condition causes blood vessels to inflame, one of her middle fingers was burned off. This disease caused her to be sent to UCSF, which meant my parents had to be, had to go to San Francisco with her and leave me with my grandma and my aunt for about a month. The separation between my parents and I was hard, but I knew it was for the best. That was only one separation because of hospitalization. The second incident was in August 2010. This time, I spent two months in the hospital. On the second day of fourth grade, I fell asleep with a stomach ache. My parents would always tell me that the stomach ache would go away as soon as I woke up, but this one didn't. My parents had no idea what the pain could be caused by, so they rushed me to the hospital that morning. After many CAT scans, blood tests, and x-rays, the doctors saw that I had appendicitis. They scheduled the operation for that night, which led to my appendix rupturing. By the time the operation was scheduled, the liquid in my appendix had spread and made pockets, which made, which made, this, which made it difficult for the surgeons to relieve the pain. Since I was only nine years old, the surgeon at Salinas Memorial Hospital
says the necessary operation couldn't be done there, so they sent me to Stanford. After their two-month visit, I left with six scars and finally no pain. This separation was longer than the first one, which stressed out my parents because they couldn't see my younger sister Isabella for about two months. And that wasn't the worst part for my parents. My mom had just found out she was pregnant as well. My parents have been through a lot with my sisters and I. Till this day, we make regular ER visits due to sports injuries like broken arms, sprained fingers, and concussions. Not a day goes by that I don't show my parents that I appreciate their actions and thankful for them for going through everything. here to sort of give a little wrap up of the winter season now that we're well into the spring. There's some people I want to recognize uh, for all league awards, a whole bunch of them. Uh, so for girls soccer, this year we finished second place in the league. We narrowly lost two by nail biters to PCS that easily could have swung the direction of the league one way or another. Um, then we had a tie, but uh, great season. First team all league, they were recognized by the entire league voting. Uh, were Lu Lucy Ziccarelli, Jesse Lyons, Laura Bauman, and Katie Newman. <laughs> Just a notch below that, Emma Cushing, Kate Vaughn, Sid, and Emily Pace were second team. <laughs> On the boys' soccer side, we finished fourth place. Uh, we had two rec uh, nominees that were recognized. Naveed made first team all league and Tom Saletto made second team all league. <laughs> in uh, boys basketball, we finished in a tie, of sort of a four way tie for fourth, third, let's see, third, I think actually. We split with a lot of teams. Uh, Joseph Ree was recognized as first team and Frankie Kalinski was honorable mention. We had a four-way tie, or three-way tie for fourth. Uh, we split with a few teams where we split one, won one, lost one, and Lauren Marshall was recognized for first team all-girl. <laughs> In addition to that, every year, um, schools submit someone for the uh, MTAL Scholar Athlete, and they go into a larger pool as a potential winner of the CCS Scholar Athlete Award, which is made up of about 135 schools between here and South San Francisco. And for our league this year, uh, we, had, we, we nominated two people and one of them was, a, was uh, lucky enough to uh, win the award and that is Emma Cushing. Good morning, just wanna make a quick announcement and follow up Leica's and Megan's announcement about the Model of the United Nations conference that everyone uh, that we attended um, last weekend. Partly because uh, both Megan and Lake were being very humble in terms of, and they did celebrate uh, Tom's uh, recognition or his verbal um, commendation in his um, the publication of his work. But what I wanted to mention is, first of all, that when you go to MUN, everyone has to prepare ahead of time. They really have to write a resolution paper. Um, on one of the topics. They represent a, someone from a country anywhere around the world. In this particular conference, we represented Niger, Congo, Malawi, um, England, um, and the uh, Senate from the United States discussing, for example, immigration change um, in the United States. And everyone did a really great job. And what I don't think everyone realized when you go to Berkeley, you're in a, a committee with maybe 500 people. It's a huge room. and. To get recognized is really a, you know, kind of a special, it really uh, says something. Um, in addition to that, I just wanted to mention that, for example, Sofia Sanico had to write an essay and won a full scholarship to attend the conference. Um, both Sofia and, and, and Teo were on a committee and they passed a resolution in one of these. And when you get a vote passed, you know, for a resolution that you propose on a, a really important global topic, um, you, you have to, you know, you have to get support of, I think they 
squeaked by with the vote, but uh, they still got numerous, numerous votes to win in one of those large committees. Um, other kind of, uh, James Gonzalez was probably one of the most active speakers in his committee. Um, didn't get you know the, the award at the end, but he was I'm sure he was close just based on his, his participation. And he was basically leading um, a whole fleet of ships controlling you know issues uh, dealing with trading wars. Um, so uh, it was really an exciting you know event to be a part of and to witness you know how active everyone was, how how familiar they became with their countries, with their with their um, committees. And on top of that, I just wanted to say that we really need to recognize both Megan and Leica because as all, and with pretty much all your clubs, you guys are training yourselves, you're organizing everything on your own, you're leading groups, whereas we're, com we're participating with schools where MUN is a class and they're doing this every day all year long and yet to have someone recognized when it's just a club um, is really special, and really Megan and Leica, Leica in particular, have been really, really good about organizing training sessions and teaching everyone how to run, how to write resolutions, and how to participate. So I just want to say thank you. Good morning. I just wanted to say a few words about the third quarter break, which for students starts tomorrow. Yes. Uh, yes. important things we can engage in if we are truly committed to improving ourselves and learning is an activity we call self-reflection. In education, uh, we like to refer to this as metacognition. That's thinking about your thinking. And York School provides this third quarter break because you've just gone through an intense period of cognitive activity, you've been pouring yourselves into school and your co-curricular activities, and if you're going to think about your performance and think about how you'd like to improve for fourth quarter and the end of the year, you need some time and you need some space. So we're hopeful that you'll take some time in the next week to allow yourself to just drift idly and to just reflect on what teachers have written about you in their third quarter comments, their suggestions for improvement, their recommendations for your improved performance in fourth quarter, that you'll think about how you'd like to engage in some conversations with teachers when you return, that you'll think about how you'd like to uh, use the opportunity to meet with me or Ms. Mastin and other adults on campus to make plans for courses for next year and the decisions that we need you to make by the end of April. And then we're hopeful that you'll be thinking about your community and what it is that you'd like to do in these last months of this really special year to help make this community what it is. And we appreciate the time that you're going to put into that, not only for yourself, but for everybody else here at York. Thanks. Great break. Go to class.